Hi guys, Ashton from Escape Off Road here. Uh, you're joining us as we make our way into Mavora Lakes this morning. As you can see from the footage, the drive-in is absolutely stunning and I cannot recommend it enough. Rightio, so in the convoy today we've got Peter up front in his LN106 and then just behind me there, as you can see in the rear view, we've got Andrew in his SR5 Hilux. That's one of the first trips Andrew's taking the Hilux on, so we're pretty keen to see how it goes. <laughs> Radio guys, so we just found this little hill climb up at Kerry's hut, the first hut you come to up Mavora Lakes. Peter's hitting it. Uh, unfortunately he doesn't have a front locker as of yet, so he's struggling a little bit. He has to back down and have multiple attempts, but uh, unfortunately he can't quite get up there. We just finished the Mavora Lakes and now we're making our way up to the Serpentine. So once we get on the gravel we'll uh, pull up and air down. Rightio guys, so we're just um, we're just airing down, ready to start our second track here. Uh, we've just hit Mavora Lakes this morning and now we're uh, about to hit Serpentine and um, stay the night. So yeah, just airing down. See there in the background, there's Andrew. Covered a fair bit of distance today. We started in Gore um, and now we're heading up um, up into the rough, rough range behind Pullburn. Take you with us and uh, hopefully we get to camp before dark. How's it going team? It's uh, morning of the second day. We just stayed the night just outside the church here. Jack over here rocked up at like oh, about 11 o'clock last night and we're planning on hitting some, uh, some more tracks today. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. So we're just making our way towards the hill climb section after spending the night at the church and I've spotted a rut which I reckon Jack could make and uh, pointed him up there. Jack just tried these big ruts right here. He obviously didn't get enough clearance and he just slipped in and he's hit his rear and he's done oh, the worst thing imaginable. Bit of panel damage but we'll see how we go.
This is the rutted hill climb, flexing your way up uh, just out of the Serpentine Church. As you can see, the Lucky Lux is doing a fantastic job. As you saw in that previous clip, the 80's just running out of clearance thanks to having a slightly bigger diff than the Lucky Lux. It's just getting hung up on some things. And same with Andrew's Hilux here. The front lower control arm is just getting caught. Hey guys, we're um, currently just making our way up the Rock and Pillar range. The sleet shower's just coming over us now, so we'll keep an eye on that. to push on and get to the Leaning Hut or, or one of the other huts up here for the night. To the limit Give everything you got to give No matter how you spin it We only get one life to live And all it takes is a spark To set the night on fire Release your heart's desire Flames getting higher morning guys we're just um up here at leaning lodge it's a fantastic sunrise over middle march this morning but we'll look to get packed up and packed up and head off uh, fairly soon it's looking like we could be heading up towards mount cook at this stage maybe heading uh the hopkins valley or the dobson um so yeah but we'll make some brekkie and uh crack on with it <laughs> Just, uh, we just finished out Rock and Pull range. We've come to fuel up. Jack's noticed that he's got a bit of the old front diff oil leaking on the back of his truck and it's come onto Ashton and mine. The bolts holding it onto the axle have gone loose, so we're just tightening them up, full on with diff oil, and we'll be back on the tracks. <laughs> So we're just on our way into Mount Cook here as you can see, uh, a little bit of a snow shower coming through. We're just heading up towards the head of Tasman Lake here. There's a few little water crossings to get through, nothing too serious. 
So we're just on our way out of Mount Cook now and um, just honed up to the top of the Tasman Lake. Um, and unfortunately the cruiser has looked like it's done its front pan hard bushing. Uh, Jack just noticed a bit of a death wobble at about 80 k's. So yeah, we're just fixing that up now, seeing if we can stuff the bushing with something to try um, try reduce the movement in it and then we'll be back on our way. Hey guys, thanks very much for joining us. It's been an awesome trip. Got to see some different sites and break a few parts along the way. Uh, if you liked what you see, consider subscribing and dropping a like. Make sure you head on over and give Escape Off Road a follow on Instagram. We post a lot of content there, posting most days along with a few stories. And yeah, cheers for coming along with us.